So today we must cancel a group called Gen Z Grow Our Platform. They're an organization of alleged Republican grassroots activists in Generation Z, and their mission is to, as the name suggests, grow the platform and forge a new and young and exciting and fresh path for the GOP. But one thing you notice about the plans to forge a new and exciting and fresh new path for the GOP is that the new and exciting and fresh new path always tends to look and sound an awful lot like the old path. Every couple of years, someone comes along with a big idea for how to help the Republican Party get with the times and connect with the youth. And invariably, the big idea is for it to basically continue doing what it's been doing all along. So the group put out an ad yesterday, which got some attention online. Let's take a look at that. We are Generation Z. We are the most creative and eager generation. Despite all of the memes and contrary to popular belief, we are not automatically Democrats. Sometimes they just feel like they're the only option. Equality, education, the environment, and entrepreneurship. The four E's that are key to preserving the GOP in the long run. We're the most diverse generation in American history. Above all, we are the generation ready to lead our country to a brighter future in the 21st century. Let me introduce you to some of my friends. We're going to show you how we're going to do this on the conservative side of the aisle. You know, we talk a lot about equality, but conservatives need to be engaged. This means promoting an equality of opportunity for all voices. No more litmus tests. Give people the freedom and security to live their own lives. As an immigrant from Cote d'Ivoire, I have benefited from world-class education right here in America. It will help me achieve my dreams and eventually attain my citizenship. But my story is the exception, not the rule. We need to pursue education reforms that lift up all students right here in the United States. I grew up in the rural Midwest. I saw firsthand the importance of a natural environment. Not only does it matter to the livelihood of millions of American farmers, but it's also God's creation and which we have a moral obligation to protect. Gen Z is independent. We think freely, but in order to fulfill our full potential, we need the tools and climate to pursue our passions, fulfill our dreams, and enact positive change. If we want to preserve the freedom and security that we love while winning the ideological battle against the left, we must grow Gen Z's platform on the right. Can we at least get some like stylish and cool young people if we're going to do this. Can't even get that. I, well, this is pretty wild stuff. So apparently what they're saying is that the Republican Party should talk about things like equality and opportunity and respecting the environment. Truly, no one has ever devised such a revolutionary plan as this. I mean, these kids are trailblazers. It's not as though literally every politician constantly yammers about all of those things already. So bringing things back to reality, it's true, of course, that education is an important issue. But a phrase like, we need to pursue education reforms that lift up all students is meaningless. The word reform is meaningless. Every politician wants to reform everything, but nothing ever happens. Apparently, reform involves standing in front of a thing that you want to reform and just shouting the word reform at it. And with edu education especially... We are way past the point where mere reform can solve the problem anyway. This is like suggesting that somebody with stage four skin cancer simply needs to wear more sunscreen. That advice would have been helpful a long time ago, but now far more drastic measures are needed. What the Republican Party needs to be talking about is how to extricate American families from their dependence on the government school system. That is the problem now. That's the kind of reform we need. It's a societal reform at the deepest level, and it will require massive lifestyle changes for millions of people. So it is difficult, but it's necessary. And it's also a truly revolutionary and bold message and an exciting message. Because we're talking about transforming society. It's a message that says, no, don't reform the government education system. Dismantle it. Tear it to the ground. Gather up the pieces and throw them into the sea, and let no one ever speak its name again. That should be our educational message. What are the other E's? Um, the environment. Well, the problem there is that nobody cares about that. I'm, I'm here to tell you right now. Nobody cares about the environment. Okay? Few people will admit it, 
but nobody really cares. I don't really care. I don't think about it at all. Even the people who pretend to care don't really. People generally understand that you shouldn't litter, you shouldn't engage in the wanton destruction of nature for no reason, but nobody's making significant and dramatic changes to their lives in order to save the environment or whatever. Nobody's doing that or will do that. And that's okay because the environment will be okay. The planet is a pretty resilient thing. It's been around for over 4 billion years. It's survived asteroids and super volcano eruptions and, and many other calamities. It'll be fine. This isn't something we need to spend time talking about. And anyway, like I said, nobody actually cares. What about equality? Well, here's another thing that conservatives don't need to talk about. What is equality anyway? What kind of equality do we want? Is equality some sort of universal good? No. It's not a universal good, and it's not universally attainable. The only kind of equality that we need to worry about is equality under the law. There shouldn't be any laws which target or disenfranchise people based on race, sex, etc. Uh, the good news is that there are no such laws targeting racial minorities or any other approved victim group with the exception of Asians. The bad news is that there are laws, like affirmative action, which intentionally disadvantage white people and Asians. And we should be talking about that, by, but not by turning it into a broad stroke discussion about equality. And then there's entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. Um, sure, entrepreneurship is good. We want more of that. And we want to protect small business owners and all of that, and yada, yada. Um, but are any of these issues the sorts of issues that really drive people at the deepest level? Are these the things that stir men's souls? Are people lying awake at night, tossing and turning, worried about these kinds of things? Are people sitting at their kitchen tables right now, you know, furrowing their brows, rubbing their temples, fretting about whether we have the right environmental policies in place? No. Is anyone going to see that ad that I just played and feel fired up and ready to charge into battle, eager to fight for the soul of our nation? No. We, we live in a country where life Sanity, reason, virtue, science, truth are all under attack at the most fundamental level. Our nation itself, our sovereignty hangs in the balance. The most powerful forces in our culture, from government to academia to media to corporate America, are all conspiring in this assault. And that is what worries people. That's what keeps people awake at night, young and old and in between. I know because they tell me all the time. These are not academic issues either. These are real and tangible. And these are things that Republican leaders and lawmakers could be doing something to stop. They could be addressing it. We could have laws in place around all of these issues, but we're not doing anything. And, and that's what the conservative movement of the future should be focused on. If it's not focused on that, then it might as well put up the white flag and surrender. And that's what this ad is really proposing in so many words. What it's really saying is it was a lot of words to really just say, give up. And that's why the ad and those responsible for it are, as tradition dictates, canceled. Listen, hit that subscribe button right now. Do it right now. I thank you for your compliance. It is somewhat appreciated.